Okay, so this is the entire contents of my wild camping rucksack. All the items you see here will come with me on every single wild camp I do during the summertime. Now, when I'm packing my bag, I've really got four things in mind. I want to stay dry, I want to stay warm, I want to stay fueled, and I want to stay hydrated. Okay, so let's start with the sleeping bag. This is my Snug Pack Softy, and it's a three to four season sleeping bag. In the height of summer, it's probably a little bit too heavy, but during May and September, it can be quite warm or it can be quite cold. It's difficult to tell. There's nothing worse than having a cold night. And in fact, our first wild camp of the summer at Glen Eye was pretty cold and I had this with me. So I never really take a smaller or a two season sleeping bag. I always have this three to four season sleeping bag with me when I'm wild camping during the summertime. Now, when it comes to the tent, I've got a pretty unique situation. I wild camp with my wife. So we have a two man tent and we share the weight of the tent. I carry the outer and the inner and my wife carries the poles and the pegs. Now I keep the outer and the inner separate in two different dry bags. Uh, that's in case when we take a tent down that the outer might be slightly wet. I want to keep it away from the inner so the inner is always dry. And as a quick tip, if you're looking for a tent to wild camp anywhere in Britain to be fair, it's a good idea to look for a tent that allows you to put the outer up first. Now this is useful because inevitably when you go to take your tent down, uh, what happens, it will be raining. And that way what you can do, you can take out the inner, you can put away your sleeping bag, keep it dry. You can take out the inner, fold it up and keep it dry. And the last thing you've got to do is take out, uh, is to take down the outer. And that's the only thing that's going to be wet if it's raining. And if you put that in a dry bag like I do, it keeps it separate from your outer, uh, your inner I should say, and keeps your inner dry. So this is my Thermarest, I've got a Prolite Thermarest. I had an, old, an older version of the Thermarest that I bought in 2006. Nothing really wrong with it, uh, but my wife's developed a bit of a hump, which was quite funny. So she had to replace hers and I decided to replace mine as well. And it's a good example why you should replace your equipment now and again, because the version I bought in 2006 was slightly heavier, uh, slightly harder to pack away, and slightly bulkier, but it didn't do anything more than this Thermarest here does. So now and again, it's a good idea to upgrade your equipment. And I'm pretty glad I upgraded this piece of equipment right here. Here, I've got my jet boil, which is obviously for cooking. In here are all the components you need, including a gas canister. It's a custom styled gas canister that fits in the jet boil, but it's the same as this gas canister here, which is a UN2037. I always carry an extra one in case the gas canister here runs out. It's a different style, but it's the same type of gas canister and it works perfectly well. And over here, I've got my light my fire uh, cooking utensils. The only things that I've got in here is a spork, uh, a small cup for uh, coffee, and I've also got a bowl for porridge. And I also keep a lighter, a very cheap Swiss Army knife, and I've got a, a fire striker in there as well. And that's all I really keep in there. I sometimes keep some of my food in there, but it's basically just the cooking utensils, a cheap knife, and a lighter. Okay, if you've ever been in an outdoor shop in Britain, you will recognize this small first aid pouch. It's a life systems trekker. I bought it about 10 years ago. Obviously, the contents of the pouch has changed. I'm not gonna go into that detail today, but this is my first aid kit that I carry with me every time I'm out wild camping. Over here, I've got some dry bags. Dry bags are incredibly useful. You can use them for lots of different things. And I've also got my tent, my inner and outer and dry bags. So in any given wild camp, I've probably got three or four dry bags that I can use uh, for different things uh, throughout the duration of the wild camp. And over here, I've got a head torch. I only carry one torch. During the summertime here in Scotland, it isn't really dark that long. In the height of summer, it's 11 o'clock before it even thinks about getting dark. So you don't really need a light that much. But at either end of the summer, May, September, 
it starts to become a little bit import, more important. But if I was doing it in the winter, I'd maybe carry an extra torch just in case. But for the summertime, one head torch per wild camper is more than enough for the outing. No man nor woman should enter into the Scottish wilderness without a midge net. There is nothing worse than being chewed alive by midges. So forgetting your midge net could end up in a very uncomfortable outing. So I always double check that I've got my midge net. Small piece of equipment, very, very useful. Now I always carry a spare pair of walking boot lacers. These cost £1.50 and they take up no room in your bag. There's nothing worse than having a snap boot lace. I wear £150 boots when I'm out hiking, but a £150 pair of boots are absolutely no use if the lacers are snapped. For the price and the weight, as far as I'm concerned, it is definitely worth carrying a pair of lacers in your bag. So over here, I've got a beanie. I've actually got two beanies here. I'd only ever really carry one, probably this one in the height of summer and this one when it gets slightly colder either end of the summer. But a beanie is incredibly useful. When it rains, stick a beanie on your head. You won't even notice it's raining. If you're cold, stick a beanie on your head you know, and you'll warm up instantly. And if it's really windy, sometimes you get that wind that's just blowing in your ears all the time. It's really quite annoying. Stick a beanie on your head and it cuts out that wind. So all in all, a very useful piece of kit. And not to be forgotten, of course, is the gloves. I've got a pair of windstopper gloves here. It's easy to forget about your gloves because you don't really think about your hands. But your hands don't do much during a hike or a wild camp. So they get cold quickly. So you really, really should carry a pair of gloves to keep your hands warm. Over in the front here, I've got my Camelback Omega Beast Reservoir. I've talked about that a lot before. Very, very useful piece of kit. Good for storing water when you're at your wild camp and obviously good for keeping you hydrated when you're on the move. It's a very good piece of kit and I never use water bottles. I only ever use water reservoirs and I only ever really use that one. Very useful piece of kit indeed. Now, what I've got here is a down jacket. It's a North Face Summit Series jacket. When you're out wild camping, you know, when you're hiking up to the plateaus, you expend a lot of energy and you spend a lot of your time trying to stay cool. But once you get to where you're camping, once you've done all your climbing, you've set up your tent, as soon as you sit down, you cool down very, very quickly. And that's where this jacket comes in. You should never really go wild camping without having a down jacket to keep you warm in the evening because it, you will cool down. And I'm talking the height of summer here. You know, even in the height of summer, as soon as you stop putting in the effort, getting up the hill, putting your tent up, as soon as you just sit down and relax, you will cool down very, very quickly. And that's when you want to have your down jacket, your beanie and your gloves. That will keep you warm and keep you happy during the evening. Over here, I've got my waterproof trousers and my waterproof jacket. The waterproof jacket gets used a lot. I don't use waterproof trousers as much. I wear a pair of almost kind of like soft shell trousers that are water resistant and they're double layered so they're perfect and they dry quickly which is great but you know when you go out wild camping you could go out the day before it's a beautiful day you set up your tent you enjoy the evening you wake up to persistent rain and persistent rain is when you want to have a pair of waterproof trousers so if you get up in the morning you've got persistent rain and you've got a 12 mile hike ahead of you this is when these come into their own. This is when you want to have them on. And if you're cold, it can act as an extra layer. So it's always worth carrying your waterproof trousers. And the same goes for the waterproof jacket. Same deal, you know, persistent rain, you're gonna have your jacket on to keep dry. So two very important pieces of kit that should always be in your bag. And finally, over here, I've got a spare set of Under Armour. So I've got my Under Armour top and my Under Armour bottoms. Now generally I will be wearing an Under Armour top and depending on the time of the year, I'll possibly be wearing the bottoms as well. So this is a spare set. And the reason I carry a spare set is in case something ridiculous happens. Like for instance, I don't know, you fall in a river and get wet. <laughs> and 
in those circumstances having a spare set will keep you dry and as I said before keeping dry is one of my main objectives and that is pretty much it everything you see here comes with me in every single wild camp the only things that are missing is of course the perishables like water and food but this is pretty much what I carry and it's designed to keep me dry keep me warm keep me hydrated and keep me fueled I'm left with a little bit of a dilemma here. Let me show you. It's quite clear, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's quite clear. We've got an icy, an icy looking cross in here that looks quite wet. There's no two doubts about it. When I stand in that, it's gonna break. The big question is, how deep is it? Probably not that deep. It's pretty deep. Oh my god! What a nightmare! That was really quite unexpected. <laughs>